Japan's wartime sexual slavery issue, an unresolved matter not just in Korea but around the world. In 2015, the South Korean administration, under the now impeached former President Park Geun Hye, reached a deal with Tokyo behind closed doors without the consent of the victims and their families. President Moon Jae in is pushing to review the flawed accord, but Japan insists the deal is final and irreversible. Our Ian Shin delves deeper into Tokyo's determination to ignore calls. For acknowledgement and apology. It is the world's longest running rally on a single theme. This public gathering, which takes place every Wednesday, voices the need for a proper resolution of the issue of Japan's wartime sex slavery of Korean women. As a Korean woman, I feel their pain. I owe my participation in the protest to the victims. Still, after some 70 years, it's an unbearable scar the victims have to live with and a source of diplomatic tension between Seoul and Tokyo. It's said that up to 200,000 women, mostly Korean, were sexually enslaved by Japanese troops during World War II. Despite Tokyo's denial of evidence of such atrocities, in July, for the first time, footage of Korean victims was revealed by Korean researchers, on top of decades' worth of collections of documents, photos and testimonies. A 20-second video filmed by an American shows seven barefoot women outside a brick house, said to be a military-run brothel in Songshan, China, in 1944. To resolve the issue, Korea needs to make Japan acknowledge that from the beginning, the colonization of Korea was an act of defying international law. Global organizations like the UN recognize this already. So bringing more testimonial documents to the surface, Korea needs to alter Japan's reasoning. Tokyo gave some 9 million U.S. dollars to a Korean fund for the victims and families of Japan's wartime atrocity through a so-called comfort women deal reached in 2015 between the two countries. But Korean citizens are far from content. And the current Moon Jae-in administration plans to review the accord made under the previous government. What's of the utmost importance in resolving sex crimes is an apology that comes with an acknowledgement of the crime, and that this was committed in a collective, organized scale. Without that, it's not an apology, it's just rhetoric, and sufferers can't accept that. But the responses from Tokyo stays the same, that the deal is irreversible and final. And so, the rally continues in Seoul. I've been rallying for 26 years. All we want is for Japan to show remorse, asking for forgiveness in front of the media, a valid, sincere apology to reinstate our integrity, and we will forgive them. For however long it takes, I will be here, and we will continue to fight until the government of Japan yields. Yunshin, Arirang News.